go to row number three, 124, Dan Connor. He was very impressive in that first heat when he got up to third. And alongside him, the man to watch is going to be Bobby Pierce, number 32 from the US of A. Row number four is a 13 on the inside, Mick Quinn. We are green and hooking it in from the outside is the 80 of Sam Waddell. See already Osborne. Well, he's not the back anymore, but he's working over the back of the tail of Flint's car. And they get spread that quick. There's nearly half a lap between first and last. Waddell Hutchins, Mrs. Bermulin, Corrin Haywood, Pierce Quinn, Jennings, Emerson, Brown, Flint, Osborne, Pitcher. And the American putting the pass down the inside of Corrin, he holds it in there. Corrin has he got better drive on the high line as they come out of turn number four he has. The American dives down the inside again. Here comes the drive from Corrin, but I think the Americans got it this time, no? They're gonna go too wide. One high, one low, this is game on, isn't it? He is, now he's really settling down to the track. Get the better drive, Corrin on the outside. Pierce holds his inside line. Corrin says, I'll oh, hang out here. Meanwhile, Waddell, the race leader to the last lap they go, has uh, half a lap ahead. So this is going to be game on the run to the flag. It is Uncle Sam versus New Zealand, and it's for second and third. It's going to be a mighty sprint to the finish line. Here they come, out of turn number four. It's time to run and gun. It is Kiwi. Row number four, the inside, the young American Bobby Pierce and number 32, and the outside of him, the eighth of Craig Cardwell. And it is pedal of the middle straight away, and from the outside, there's the flyer from Steve Flynn. Is that a good omen? Will that outside grid position be one, 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 one? Doing a Lewis Hamilton, I'm trying to back the field up. That American, he is so smooth, but he's down the inside. Will he go from I know he doesn't get the drive out of turn number four. Flint, the quickest man out on the track, the race leader, goes at 16.51. So at the moment, Pierce tops the points. He's on 22. All American. No hosts more in than on 21. On Coronel on 23. On start. And the American, he goes through. So Pierce takes picture. So Bobby Pierce delivering the goods out there. He's up in the second. Flint, of course, has disappeared into the sunset long ago. So heading to the checkup. And it's Steve Flynn who takes out heat number three, does it very impressively. Young gun Bobby Pierce, he'd be happy with second on that one. So it's going to come down to the wire for pole. Is it going to be a Kiwi or is it going to be an American? So the, the way the winning's gone from the outside, either driver would love to start from the outside with the 25 lapper. There's a whole new ball going, but here we go. This is for pole. And away they go. The American, the little American, Bobby Pierce, gets the jump on Dan Corrin. Corrin on the outside. He's on the high line. Yeah, can he get super drive from out there? Or well, the American, he's covering him he every inch of the way. side of the front row and uh, Bobby Pierce from the US of A has pole in the feature in his final meeting in New Zealand. And we're racing in the big one. And it's Corrin who grabs the initial lead. Great start from Osborne goes the high line around the outside. The American he's got his nose down the inside. Oh and they drift 
right out the wall, the American. He struck a problem in there. He goes back into four. And Bobby Pierce, he's got some serious work to do now. And he's got a problem with the car. He goes one side, then the other. There's one spinning around out onto the infield. got ahead of uh, Steve Flynn and they've done the eight laps of that one time that's a 25 lap up so the track over that 25 laps will change the nimbly and here comes Bobby Pierce and he is a Lindy Upbringer down at the outrider and, and look at the American go now most awesome races I've been in uh you know th this track got really racy there at the end and the top was a really fine line and uh you know when that caution came out uh it seemed like those guys adjusted their cars really good and I didn't know if I'd have anything for them because I tried it uh when we went back green and I just couldn't really catch them and uh I was like well this is it we'll just settle for third and then I just kept trying it up there and I think the bottom just kept getting a little bit slicker and uh I just kind of had to find my rhythm up there uh you know almost almost flipped it that one time and uh yeah i really like that these cars uh the right rear tire sticks out outside of the body because uh, i'm you know i'm used to the first thing hitting the wall is the spoiler so i really like this a lot and uh it just lets you get closer to the to the cushion and